Good morning, friends. Today' topic is Tasco DG Shipping Exit Exam Question and Answer Part One. Question number one. Cargo oil loaded in separate tank, including segregation of cargo lines and pumps, with double wall segregation. This type is called option A, closed segregation. Option B, complete segregation. Option C, natural segregation. Option D, partial segregation. The correct answer is option B, complete segregation. The process over here, the cargo lines and pumps with double wall arrangement. The single wall arrangement is to isolate and double wall arrangement make sure that it is not at all mixing with other unit. Double protection. So this is complete segregation. So for question number one, complete segregation is the correct answer. Question number two, on tankers, emergency pump producing 72 meter cube per hour at dash bar. The correct answer is option A, 10. Option B, 9. Option C, 7. Option D, 8. The correct answer is option C, 7 bar. Question number three. The foam monitor, the the foam monitor of the expansion foam, which is laid across the deck. Option A, cargo deck. Option B, forecastle deck. Option C, poop deck. Option D, weather deck. The correct answer is option A, cargo deck. The deck, the four monitors are mainly used to protection against the fire. If there is a fire, it will be extinguishing the fire. So there is a chances of fire on the deck is mainly above the cargo tank or inside the cargo tank. Inside the cargo tank, we are maintaining inner guard. There will not be any chance of fire happen. When it is comes to Uh, atmosphere, normal atmosphere where there is a presence of oxygen, hydrocarbon gases present, there is a chance of fire is higher. So, cargo deck area, the foam monitor should be placed. So, for question number three, option A is correct answer. Question number four, on tankers, the impairment of smell is especially serious when mixing containing option A hydrocarbon, option B carbon dioxide. Option C, hydrogen sulfide. Option D, sulfur dioxide. Hydrogen sulfide C is the correct answer. In most of the cases, tankers are carrying the carrying petroleum compounds. Petroleum carbon compounds can release hydrocarbon and hydrogen sulfide gases. H two S is dangerous to health. It is toxic in nature. So this mainly is considered as a serious hazard to us. So option C is the correct answer for question number four. Question number five. In the vicinity of an electrical storm, tanker cleaning dash option A may continue providing the tanks are inundated. Option B must be stopped. Option C may continue providing the tank venting system is isolated. Option D may continue if tank pressure remains at atmospheric. As electrical storms are used to nothing but the charged storms, the storms which carry the charged Particles within it, within in it, this is called electrical storm. This is more likely you can say like a static electricity. So, when you are doing tank cleaning operation, this is a lot of operation. There is any static electricity present in it, it can lead to the explosion. So, option B must be stopped is a correct answer for question number five. Question number six: The tank washing machines. Our for crude oil washing shall be dash mounted and shall be yeah design acceptable to the administration. Option A temporarily, option B permanently, option C portably, option D none of the above. The correct answer is option B permanently. The tank washing machine should be permanently fitted to the tank system. So option B is the correct answer for question number six. Question number seven. Dash tanker is a vessel of size range fifty thousand to seventy four thousand nine hundred ninety nine days weight. Option A, Afro Max. Option B, Panamax. Option C, Suez Max. Option D, ELCC. The correct answer is option B, Panamax. 
shift size, the death weight is from 50,000 to 75,000. Then the size of the ship is called Panamax vessel. Question number 8. What is almost absent in crude petroleum? Option A. Olefins. Option B. Naphtha. Option C. Mercaptan. Option D. Cycloparaffin. The correct answer is Option C. Mercaptans. Mercaptans, also known as methane ethyl, is a foul smelling gas that is added to natural gas. So, this is the indication for if there is a natural gas is releasing, this will be a foul smell. So, mercaptan is added that is for gas carriers, not for the crude oil tankers, petroleum tankers. So, option C is correct answer for question number 8. On tankers, how many brake glass alarm points are located on accommodation? Option A, 10. Option B, 12. Option C, 17. Option D, 19. The correct answer is option B, 12. The manual operated call points. The brake glass alarm is nothing but the call points, manual call points for there is a fire hazard in the emergency. We used to break the glass and press it. That is called manual call point. As per SOLAS requirement, manual operated call points are to be installed throughout the accommodation space, service space, and control station. One manually operated call point is to be located at each exit. Remember that each exit, which will include your emergency exits size of the accommodation, port side, start port side and normal exits where, where you pass through through the alleyway or alleyway to the another deck through the staircase, normal staircase that is the manually operated call points are to be readily accessible in the corridor of each deck such that no part of the corridor is more than 20 meter from a manually operated call point so one call point to another call point minimum distance should at least maximum distance should not exit more than 20 meters so, if you go through this, let me take, there is an upper deck and there will be a A deck for the normal common activities like cargo control room, ship's office, welfare room, galley, so and so. Deck D, which is normally carrying crew or sometimes it is together with crew and officers. The small tankers, MR tankers. Otherwise, there will be a B, uh, B, C deck which will carry both, which will carry both uh, crew and officer. So this will include uh, officers. Next is bridge. So if maybe there is a upper deck, A deck, B deck, bridge or C deck and bridge. So we take minimum four decks. So 4 into 3 manual call points equal to 12. So correct answer is 12 here. So question number 9, option 12 is correct answer. So next question, question number 10. 10. As an emergency measure, the pump room can be option A, isolated, option B, ventilated, option C, inverted, option D, closed. The correct answer is option D isolated. The pump room is also considered as an enclosed space. There is a chance of releasing of hydrocarbon gases and hydrogen sulfur gases. So that area has to be isolated. It cannot be ventilated. It will hinder the fire if there is an emergency issue. So it can be isolated and there is no arrangement for inner day. So for question number 10, option A isolated is the correct answer. Question number 11, when operating with negative suction head, which of this type of pumps will require primary? Option A, reciprocating. Option B, air. Option C, centrifugal. Option D, rotary. The correct answer is option C, centrifugal. So centrifugal pumps need priming arrangement because it is not a positive displacement pump. Question number 12. During loading operation, alleged and temperature measurement equipment is showing low battery. Battery to be replaced. Option A can be replaced on tank area, can be used near manifold area, can be replaced at pump room entrance, can be replaced only inside accommodation. 
so when there is a loading operation the hazardous area is total outside accommodation is considered as hazardous area because there will be a loading operation there will be releases of the tank pressure gases it will contains of hydrocarbon hydrogen sulfide that is chance of fire because the air is present in it so we don't want any heat source to occur when you are changing the battery and putting the cell will be same places some chances that there is a possibility of releasing a spark which can lead to a fire hazard ignition to avoid this you have to be take the equipment to the safe zone that is accommodation from there you will change your battery for question number 12 option d is a correct answer question number 13 chemical tankers constructed on or after 1st july 1986 must comply with the provision of option a the bch code option b iggc code option c ibc code option d gic code the correct answer is option b ibc code the ibc code provides an international standard for the carry cf carriage in pulp bulk by c of dangerous chemicals and noxious liquid substance listed in chapter 17 okay the ibc code is nothing but international standard for cf carriage in bulk by c of dangerous chemical and noxious liquid substance listed in chapter 17 is mentioned in it as per imo guidelines so chemical tankers is nothing but a noxious liquid substance So it comes under the IBC code. So for question number thirteen, option C is the correct answer. Question number fourteen, whichever method is used, the overboard discharge in during de ballasting must be option A below the water line, option B above the water line, option C no restriction, option D none of the above. The correct answer is option B above the water line because. when you are pumping out if there is a leakage of crude oil or any any oil from the cargo tank releasing to the ballast tank it can be identified if it is discharged through the above the line so it can be visibly monitor you can see it and you can stop the process so we can also identify which ballast tank is polluted and also leakage nearby tanks can be easier to identify so for question number 14 option b is the correct answer question number 15 where in each monitor space should the gas detector head be placed in dedicated oil tanker option a at the bottom option b at the top option c in the center vertically option d any point in the space the correct answer is option a at the bottom so hydrocarbon gases hydrogen sulfide gases are heavier it can be accumulated on the bottom of the tank once it is tank is empty so the director head should be as low as possible so the correct answer is option b at the bottom that's why we are releasing it to the atmosphere the higher velocity to in order to move away from the deck area or the accommodation yeah it is try to accommodate on the bottom so that's why in accommodation also gas detectors are present in detecting at the lower point to detect any abnormal alarm so option a is the correct answer for question number 15 question number 16 which of the following is true about dry powder fire extinguisher option a you should avoid using them in confined space option b they are the best choice for electrical fires option c you should only use them in confined space option d there is a black band above them the correct answer is option a because dry powder chemical is releasing the toxic gas when it is extinguishing the fire in the space so if you are using this dry chemical powder in confined space it will become a toxic in nature so it is difficult for person to go and check for the reignition So it should be try to avoid at maximum extent possibility in confined space. So question number sixteen is that sixteen option A is the correct answer. Answer question number seventeen. Where only hydrocarbon acid is carried? 
a directing system is to be provided option a hydrogen fluoride vapor option b hydrogen sulfide option c hydrogen peroxide option d none of the above the correct answer is option a hydrogen fluoride vapor hydrocarbon acid is nothing but the hydrochloric acid will be included in hydrocarbon acid mostly is a hydrochloric acid so hydrogen chloride vapor is a medium will be releasing from the hydrogen carbon acid carbo so it has to be directed a directing system is to be provided to detect the hydrocarbon vapor so for question number 17 option a is the correct answer question number 18 which one is used to detect the color of the petroleum product option a say both chrome meter option b level and apparatus option c color comparator option d none of the above the correct answer is option a say both chrome meter question number 19 on tanker the foam bulk storage tank contain that meter cube of option a 2 option b 4 option c 6 option d 8 the correct answer is option b 4 meter cube question number 20 many petroleum product especially the more volatile one cause dust option a dermatitis option b skin irritation option c skin it disappear option d both a and b the correct answer is option b both and both a and b dermatitis dermatitis is a general term that describes inflammation of the skin so inflammation of the skin will be occur when it is petroleum product is more volatile which it contact with your skin and it also cause skin irritation so the correct answer for question number 20 is both a and b option a dermatitis and option b skin irritation is included in option d so the correct answer is option d okay friends if you like my videos please like if you want to see more videos related to exit exams and also related to marine department you can always welcome to subscribe my channel and i keep updating my videos related to the exit exams and other factors which can give more knowledge to seafarers so please subscribe please like the channel if you have any doubt clarification you can always welcome to ask in comment box if my answers are wrong you can also correct me in comment box thank you